Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Well, it's good that you're still around for part two. I know this game starts off really slowly. Well, cattle herding's kind of exciting, but anyway, or goat herding, whatever the hell we were doing. All I know is right now we have 30 rupees and it's time to buy a slingshot. Uh, you can find rupees pretty much anywhere you'd expect in a Zelda game. There's a ton of around town if you just look in the right spots. There we go. Children love this item. It also comes with 50 pellets or seeds or whatever. So that's good. Uh, one interesting thing is we can also use pumpkin seeds to replace the regular seed pellets that we get. So we can find some pumpkin seeds in Ordon Village. There's plenty of those, so there's no shortage of seeds for the slingshot. So no excuse for running out of ammo. So yeah, we have to equip the slingshot right like that. Uh, you just use the minus button to bring up this little circle thing. It actually works pretty well. I, I kind of like that. But we can aim the slingshot at that thing up there. You see that? And if you destroy it, it has a bunch of stuff and bees. Oh, whoa, whoa. the bees attack you? What? What? I did not know this. Get away from me, you stupid bees. Jeez. <laughs> Surprise number one of this game. All right, anyway, we can find bee larva up here. You can scoop it up with your bottle. And it makes good bait for fishing. That's pretty much all it does. But it's free, and it's right there. So if you want it, you can take it. If not, take the milk. I recommend the milk because it heals you, which is way more useful than fishing at this point. But anyway. Hey, just in time, Sir Eric. Something in my room. Why couldn't you just give it to me now? But whatever. Looking way too deeply into this. I guess we still need a tutorial to go up a ladder. I don't know. Oh, no. See, this is why. Because a spider enemy, so we need the slingshot to take down the spider so we can get the item in the room. See, it's all making sense. This quest is all coming together to grab the ultimate item. You know, imagine if, like, in that beginning of the game, you just get, like, the best item. It's kind of like... What game did that? Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where you start out with, like, all your powers and abilities, or I guess any Metroid game. And then you just lose them, and it's like, ah, piss. But... Whatever. We got the wooden sword. So, with a wooden sword, we can now do something instead of just walking around and rolling around and herding goats and delivering cradles and all that garbage. Alright, so let's talk to these kids and they'll be like, Whoa, a slingshot! You have enough money to buy it? Yeah, it was lying around the village. If you just looked, you probably could have found it yourselves. But, nope. Alright, so now we have a little bit of training, as you might expect. Slingshot training. We have targets. What do you do with targets? Well, you shoot them with a slingshot. Not hard to figure out. Preparation complete. Let's see how many tar targets I can hit. Just show them. First, use the Wii remote to aim. I will do just that. Let's hit that target. Boom! Look at that scarecrow head. Never stood a chance. That's amazing! Yes, I know I can tilt the analog stick to move around. <laughs> They're all arguing. You call us success? You can also target, which is what I'm doing there. There we go. I'll break these manually, though. One, two, and one more. Three. So, I think that's it. Suck the kids. Oh, there's still targets left. Where the hell are they? Uh, oh. <laughs> Already, tasks are proving to be difficult in this game. This game really steps up the difficulty. It has you look up for targets instead of just having them all right in front of you jeez this is really stepping up the game here you really are amazing yeah i can shoot things i can use swords and slingshots and bombs and boomerangs and hook shots and all sorts of crap come on teach us how to use a sword yeah what's the harm in teaching kids how to use a sword i really don't see anything wrong with this role model Pff, what role model all right first i want to see that move the slice i just swing the wii remote that seems easy enough yeah, there we go. Ha! Whoa, a vertical slice. I've seen you do a horizontal slice before. Yeah, I will do a horizontal slice, but I guess I don't have to do it now. I want to see that other move, Sir Eric. You know, just tilt forward with the Wii Remote. That? That was so great. Oh, that wasn't the move I was supposed to do. Stupid Mallow, shut up. It's good enough. That's better than the stab. You hardly ever used the stab. Anyway, that was a stab. Ah, uh, yeah. This is a spin attack. You spin the nunchuck to perform the spin attack, which is actually pretty handy. It's easy, intuitive, which is good. Uh, you know, that was one of my one of my troubles with this game, or one of my worries, I should say. Before I bought it, I was worried that some of the controls were a little 
difficult, and yeah, I just destroyed that pumpkin head on that scarecrow. And they're all like, oh my god. I was worried that some of the Wii Remote controls, there would be too many of them, and they would all interfere with each other, so you'd mean to do one attack, but you'd actually do another attack just by motion and monkey. But that's not the case at all. Anyway, there's a monkey. He's hopping into the woods. Come here, you! Hey, hey, little, little kids! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, you're not supposed to run into the woods. I mean, I know I taught you how to use a sword and how to use a slingshot. <laughs> well, okay, this is kind of my fault. But, anyway, let's go. Come on, 41, let us venture into the forest to find these kids because kids can't wander off. It's dangerous to go alone. That's what we should have said. It's dangerous to go alone. I don't know what I would have given them. Across the epic bridge, there's always an epic bridge. Even in Ocarina of Time, it's an epic bridge. Okay, so as we ride into the forest, into uncharted territory, I haven't been here yet in the game. The Faron Woods. Eh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much to say about it. It's just typical woods. But yeah, we do need our horse to get through here, so we need to hop that gate. And we can use our horse now not to go that way. Although we will need to go to that little fountain in a little bit. I, that does become important later. There's a lot of things in this game that become important later. And then another thing I really like about this game, I don't think we can take our horse past this point because a horse starts freaking out for some reason, but it doesn't matter. I don't think the horse can go in dark areas or um, obviously can't walk on certain types of terrain. So can't go through the water, for example. So, anyway, we can talk to this guy. Whoa, an Ordonian! Hey, guy! You shouldn't be wandering woods without a lantern. Hey, a lantern, that sounds like a good idea. Go on and take this, see? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! A lantern. Once lit, you can set things on fire. <laughs> Fireballs! I love setting things on fire. You can light your way out. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Try to light the fire under the big pot. All right, point the Wii Remote. Oh, no, that's... that's uh, Stupid sunshot. Okay. Alright, lantern. Light the fire. There we go. That's right. See? It's on fire. <laughs> I'm aware of this. So anyway, uh, we can actually um, buy uh, lamp oil from that guy. <laughs> lamp oil? We can't buy rope or bomb stuff, but we can buy lamp oil from that guy for 20 rupees if we run out. There's really no reason to run out. I mean, you could just if you're stupid and careless, but there's no reason to. I just walked into the first enemy I saw. That's a plant, you know. I don't really know what they're called in this game. I don't know if they have a special name. I got seeds. But, you know, they're like Deku Baba plants or Boko Baba. I don't know what the equivalent is in Twilight Princess, but it's the same idea. But if you kill them, they give you like a little seed pod. You throw it, it has either rupees or seeds. Let's light this torch. All right, so we do need. We don't technically need the lantern from here, but I don't think the game lets you continue until you get the lantern. And plus, it's a really good idea. So let us go through here. I know it's kind of dark, tough to see. Uh, no, no, I thought that was a pedestal. Another stupid plant, easy to beat. Even with a wooden sword, we can take down those stupid plants. So really, no threat at all. Use the lantern to burn the webs. Classic Zelda right there. I have all sorts of stupid little enemies in here. We're gonna have like rats and bats and all typical cave enemies. If yeah, we can burn the ropes there to uh, release the jar, I don't really care enough to continue with that jar. Uh, now the lantern's a little... You have to watch out when you use the lantern because it's key. I know those guys. Um, you can actually put it away, like when you take out your sword, but have it still be lighting the area, which is great, but... Sometimes you might not realize that, and then your lantern's like just suddenly out of fuel. So make sure if you really do want to put it away, that you actually, like, put away your sword, manually take out the lantern, and then manually put it away. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this yet. I don't know how I've gone this far without mentioning it. But uh, there was also a version of this game released later for the GameCube, ironically. It was released later for the earlier console. But uh, this version is a mirrored version of the GameCube version. Or I guess you could say the GameCube is mirrored of this. But since it was originally developed for the GameCube, I guess this one would be a mirrored version of that. So everything, so that makes Link right-handed, which works with the Wii motion controls. So everything you're seeing in this world, when you compare it to the GameCube version, is just mirrored. Anyway, we first have to go... Oh, we'll take off this. Well, we don't really have to. It's fun. It's because they're pathetic. 
is die to a wooden sword. They just get beaten to death. I mean, it's not really that they're getting stabbed. They're getting beaten to death by a wooden sword. So you saw those little targets on our map. Uh, those are very handy. <laughs> Whenever you see a target, obviously you want to head out for the target. Uh, but I do like how this game does, even though the overworld, as we'll see later, is huge. Let's go back at it. Uh, it does give you targets as to where to go. It directs you around pretty well, even though there's plenty of exploration. So, this is something you want to get right away. Light those two torches and that chest will appear. Well, first you want to grab that blue ruby and then get this chest. A small key. So we need to go here first and then get the other one. But yeah, up here, this is a very important chest to get at this point because it's a piece of heart. Collect five pieces to form a new heart container. So they changed it in this game to five pieces so they can hide even more heart containers. Which is good. I like more secrets and stuff. But um, yeah, if you don't get that now, it's a big, big pain to get later on. So, are you, it's not a pain to get, obviously. It's pretty easy, but you do have to do a lot of backtracking to get it. So make sure you get it now while you can to save yourself a lot of time later on. When you're like, oh, where are the heart pieces that I missed? And it's like, oh, one at the beginning of the game. Where else would it be? <laughs> Just jumped over that guy, whatever, it doesn't matter. Continue, continue, no need to fight anything. Just keep walking. Nothing to see here, nothing to see. We'll be back to this area later. A lot of those it types of things in the game. Oh, we'll be back to this area later. But that's what I love about it. Use the key to open that door and take out this. Ah, uh, I forget what these things are. They're the same enemies from... Are they the same enemies from Wind Waker? I'm not sure. Now, I say that, but I'm not sure. They look like them and they sound like them. I'm not sure. Whatever they're called. We'll just take them out with a big spin attack and jump attack and... I don't think they stood much of a chance. They kind of didn't even like guard or block or anything. Uh, anyway, more of these guys. Take him out with n little to no trouble. Continue on. Oh, there's a big tree. Oh. Whoa, you're super. Now just buy something, hey? Oh, that's a stupid shot. We have really no need for it right now because we do want to save our rupees. But in that shop, I was getting a little cutscene. You can buy potions, a red potion or a green potion. Or, oh, there's, there's the kid, and there's a monkey. Hello. Oh, hi. But, um, if you, you can also steal them for free, but if you do, the bird will attack you until you pay. So that's pretty sucky. Uh, yeah, no real need for that right now. Unless you think you're gonna die to these I mean, if you're having a lot of trouble with these guys, then by all means, but... Uh, yeah, he's already dead. So let's just break open the cage. With no worry in the world about that, we might hit the kid, or... Tallow. I'm pretty sure his name is Tallow. Or the monkey. But, nope. <laughs> Who cares about the kid and the monkey? Just break open the cage by any means necessary. So he's going to be all like, Gee, me and that monkey would have probably been eaten, probably. She's a pretty nice gal. She tried to protect me. Um, Sir Eric, you're not going to mention this to my dad, are you? I already told him. <laughs> you can't tell him, really. You'll have to promise. All right, fine. I mean, it's it was kind of my fault. Oh, hi. <laughs> Where is this guy? Yeah, it was. It is Tell. See, I know what I'm talking about. Such a task should not fall to you. You notice how strange this wood seems lately? I feel uneasy about may what may lie. Wait. It's a good thing I've given this task to you. Good luck in return safely. If you are lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. <laughs> Meeting Princess Zelda in a Zelda game? Jeez. Now these characters are really, like, stretching it here. Ordon Ranch. Oh, no. Back at the ranch. That, you know what that means. More unruly goats just sitting around and minding their own business. Hey, hey shut up. This, what is this guy's deal? First, I'm asleep. Now I'm just sitting here. And he's got a, he has the need to come over and be all like, Yeah, I'll even finish up early today, bud. Fine, I'll herd the goats. Right, let me go get uh, 41. I almost said Epona, but clearly not Epona. This is 41. I could have just used the grass, but that's all right. She's right here. He's going to yell from all the way across. Okay, then. Let's get started. Because, yeah, I guess you're supposed to use the grass. But whatever. All right, this time we have 20 goats. Uh-oh. Can we handle 20 goats? Uh, I don't think there is actual time limit for this. It, does, it just gives you a time for fun. Um, there might be something where if you get under a certain amount of time, actually, I, I'm almost positive, but I don't know if you can do that just yet. I think you have to come back here and then it's like, oh, look at that, the triple goat in. 
And it's like, if you get it under whatever time it is, then you get a heart piece or rupees or whatever you get. Yeah, let's herd these goats. Get out of the way, stupid guy. He's in the way. Right, look at this. So we're going for the quintuple goat herd. I don't know, quadruple. Wait, unless we get that guy in. Double goat herd. Double goat in. That's a one and one goat in. <laughs> now I'm just pulling shit out of my ass. Anyway. What else am I supposed to talk about? We're herding goats. It's not exciting. Uh, but there we go, double goat. Um, this goat herding game is <laughs> is annoying, and we've already had to do it twice in this game. But don't think that this game isn't just the... This isn't called The Legend of Zelda Goat Herder. This is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So you know it's going to be epic. It's just starting off a little slow. I don't know, it's giving us backstory. That's what the game is. Like. It's giving us backstory. I, I made an excuse for the game. So, the game owes me one now. The game better be very nice to me because I made an excuse for it. I'm going for a triple goat in. Oh, that stupid ass goat turned the other way. What the hell was that? Goat in, one left. Come on, goat. Just cooperate. You can do this the easy way or the hard way. Or the semi easy, medium hard way. Okay, there we go. Done. Oh boy. That was 119 faster than usual. So yeah, I guess you do have to beat three minutes. But plenty of time to beat three minutes. I don't even think you have to. What if you don't? What's gonna happen? You're gonna be like, oh, you didn't hurt the goats fast enough. I'll just release them all and then you have to do it again. <laughs> just to spite you, you have to do it again. Anyway, back in Ordon Village, we have a cutscene of sorts. So Link, or Sir Eric, rather. Sorry, I gotta get used to that. Rides his noble steed, 41, very gracefully, trotting. And who the hell is that? Oh, dang. Anyway. Of course she runs over. You can you can see, like, the obvious connection here. Oh, done hurting for the day, sir? Oh, I am. Well, nice work. Royal. Yeah. Oh, Russell. That's that guy's name. Russell. I don't know what, what name I was thinking of before. Russell. Anyway, this is the mayor. He doesn't look like much of a mayor, but he's the mayor of Ordon Village, and he is mm -hmm. a big jerk. No, he's not. He's actually pretty helpful later on, but what's happened? She's injured, isn't she? Uh, yeah. Uh, you were pushing 41 too hard again. I thought you heard of jumping fences, didn't you? Now, now, calm down. Just stay calm. I am calm! How can you be so easy on him? You're the mayor! You should start acting like one. Ouch! No, you, mayor, should exile her from the village. Jeez, she being such a bitch right now. Seriously. Just, all you have to do is say the word. Get the hell out. But no, nope. he's gonna take pity on his daughter. Pfft. Actually loving your kids. Who does that nowadays? Which, uh, <laughs> that's a subject we shouldn't get into. But. This won't do, clearly, because I need the horse to go to Hyrule Castle to deliver my whatever I'm delivering. Package, item, whatever. So, obviously this creates quite a dilemma. We need to go up and we need to get 41 back from that bitch. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Twilight Princess, we are going to do just that. Get 41 back and then I'm sure other stuff will happen too. Ciao.